Let's study about covalent bond. In the previous class, we will study about uh, ionic bonds or electrovalent bond. But in this video, we shall be discussing about the covalent bond. So you know already that in between metal and non-metal, ionic bond will form because of the oppositely charged electron uh, ions. But right now, in case of covalent bond, you need to understand first that this will form will between non-metal and non-metal. So what is the basic of this within non-metal and non-metal? You know that uh, in group number 15, 16 and 17 except group number 18 there are the elements of non-metal which is more prone to accept electrons. But when two, two non-metals bind together they they can't donate electrons or even they can't accept electrons they they share electrons so the bonds which will form by sharing electrons these are called the covalent bonds so this non-metal and non-metal will be sharing sharing electrons so in this tutorial we will only focus the, uh, the covalent bond that is forming only by sharing electrons how it will form like if you see the if you see about this diatoms molecule like hydrogen even you see about chlorine nitrogen even iodine oxygen then you will feel something that there is inside there is something like what's going on here all these diatomic molecules, that means two atoms molecule is called diatomic molecules, are not forming in the same way. Both in all cases they are sharing electrons, but how? Now you see in this case of hydrogen, it has one electron. In other case, when another hydrogen is coming, they are sharing one electron each. So if we draw, then we will find that hydrogen is sharing one electron with another hydrogen and in this case covalent bond will be expressed by this sign which is called uh, this sign only one is one sign so this is the expression of the bond but you know that what's going on in case of hydrogen it will be one single bond in case of oxygen, there should be two double bond, I mean one double bond, and in case of nitrogen, it will be three. Why this is happening? Because number of sharing electrons in this in between these atoms are not same. Because we know that the reason of the chemical bond is to get the stable electron configurations like the inert gas. So the non-metal shared electron to get the electron configuration like the inert gas. In this case, hydrogen is only shared one electron to get the electron configuration like helium. And you see these two electrons is the owner of hydrogen of both hydrogen. So that is why this hydrogen can claim that this is this two electrons mine, and also this hydrogen is claiming that this two electron is mine. So both hydrogens will have two electrons in each, and that is why they can't I mean, get away from each other because they're both together they got the electron configuration like helium what's going on regarding oxygen like in oxygen if you know that the electron configuration of oxygen is 2 and 6 that means it is 1s2 2s2 2p4 you know it already that the outermost shell of oxygen it has 6 electrons so to get the stable electron configurations, it requires two more electrons. But who will get the two more electrons if two oxygen binds together? What's happening? Like this is oxygen and suppose this is the nucleus, this is the first shell and this is the second shell. So we know that in the first shell it has two electrons and suppose another oxygen is coming together so now this is another oxygen and this is the first shell so what's going on in this first shell it has two electrons but this oxygen has six electrons in its outermost shell 
So suppose this is two electrons and and this is two electrons and this is two electrons six electrons I mean put together eight electrons and these atoms these oxygen atoms another two electrons two electrons and two electrons now you see what's going on in the shared shared space it has four electrons so here it has four electrons and here it has four electrons together this oxygen attained eight electrons and also this oxygen attained eight electrons like this so the, there is four electrons that was shared with these oxygen atoms so when two oxygen comes together then two pairs of electrons is shared and that is why when how oxygen molecules gets the electron configuration like the inert gas because they share two electrons two pairs of electrons thus we say this oxygen like this two bond because covalent bond has been expressed this bond sign so that bond means one pair of shared electrons so we say that hydrogen one bond with hydrogen it means they share one pair of electrons and in this case oxygen shares two pairs of electrons and now what about nitrogen and why nitrogen is three bond because nitrogen when nitrogen comes together they shared three pairs of electron like how in case of nitrogen hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen is seven so it has seven and we can say one is two two is two two p three now you see that in the second shell it has five electrons so now if we draw nitrogen like this and these we got this is the suppose this is the first shell and another nitrogen is forming with this suppose this is the first shell so now nitrogen will have five electrons in its outermost shell number two is here and suppose this three electron is here and these nitrogen will have two electrons in here and three electrons are there so actually they shared six electrons <clears throat> that means three pairs of electrons they are sharing and that is why in their shared space they are getting six electrons in each nitrogen they have two electrons in its outermost shell and they have got the electron configurations which is stable and now nitrogen is getting this three form like that so this three bond it means that when two nitrogen atoms comes together they shared three pairs of electron to get the stable electron configuration and to get the stability what about hydrogen chloride when hydrogen and chlorine is joined together hydrogen shared one electron because it has only one electron and chlorine is sharing the outermost shell one electron thus Chlorine got eight electrons and hydrogen got two electrons. And these shared electrons is, is the cause of the covalent bond. And thus, the shared electrons creates the covalent system between these atoms and there got the covalent bonds. And forming this covalent bond, the compounds are called covalent compound. So I hope you understand these things. <clears throat> so if I move, then I want to give you some idea one more thing you need to understand that when the covalent bond come together when covalent bond come together then there is another bond that is van der Waals bond so this is a very weak type of weak type of bonds in between the covalent bonds so when covalent bonds and covalent compounds come together when covalent compounds comes together then a weak force is acting in between these covalent compounds and these are called the van der Waals bond so i hope you understand the van der Waals bond and i will definitely upload this in the in next video regarding the explanation of covalent bond now i want to give you some idea about water suppose this is oxygen and this is the nucleus first shell and second shell and hydrogen is here and hydrogen is here also so this oxygen has uh, 
hydrogen, I'm, I'm drawing it. So hydrogen and here two electrons and here two electrons. And thus oxygen is getting the stable electron configurations like hydrogen is getting two electrons, two electrons each and oxygen getting eight electrons. When covalent compounds like the atoms is sharing electrons, then one interesting thing is happening and it requires another class that these electron pairs are not are not acting and not forming any bond so they are not functioning here and that's why they're called the lone pair electrons and you see in here in these pairs of electrons they form the covalent bond the shared electrons so these pairs are called the bond pair electron bond pair electron so you know that in the covalent bond those atoms will share electrons the pair of electrons that is acting that is actually taking part of bond sharing formula that this is called the bond pair and this is called the lone pair and that is the main reason of the various structural formula of the covalent compounds like water like in this case water cannot be written like that because it's not the right formula it's not the right way to write down the water should be like that and it requires it requires it has the same it has a difficult i mean it has a specific structure how we'll write it like in case of ammonia you see this is nitrogen first shell and the second shell the nitrogen has seven electrons it means it has three electrons here, three electrons here, and two electrons here. And this one electron will be shared with hydrogen. This one electron will be shared with hydrogen. And again, it will also be shared with hydrogen. But these two electrons will not be shared. Now you see, nitrogen is having eight electrons in its outermost shell, and hydrogen is having two electrons only. These two electrons is called the bond pair right you know it that bond pair but these two electrons is not working so they are called the lone pair electrons and obviously the structure or the shape of ammonia ammonia compounds is not like that it's about this as because as because it has some reason of being that because I will explain it later on because I'm just giving you the hints. The lone pair electrons, as they are not acting or forming any bond, the repulsions in between these electrons, because electrons are the similar charged uh, ions, I mean uh, the particles, so they repulse each other. The repulsion power of the lone pair is higher than the bond pair. So whenever there is a lone pair electrons, they repulse each other so that the other electrons is getting down. So that is why the structure of ammonia won't be like that. It would be like that. And similarly, water should not be like that. It would be like this. As because of the number of lone pair electrons present in the molecule. So, I'm giving a very simple uh, idea about the covalent bond, so you know that that covalent bond is that type of bond that will form by sharing electrons between the non-metals. And when they will share the bonds, that will be expressed through one bond. And in this lecture, I was also explaining that uh, why hydrogen has a single bond, oxygen has double bond, and nitrogen has triple bond. I hope you understand that the reason for the single bond, double bond and triple bond. And of course you need to know that when covalent compounds come together, they are forming a weak force in between them and these are called the uh, Van der Waals bond. And that is why the melting points and the boiling points of covalent compounds are smaller than ionic compounds. You know that the ionic compounds have more attractions in between these atoms because the um, electrostatic force is much higher than these this weak force so that is why the covalent compounds have less uh, boiling and melting point so i hope you understand the
covalent bond concept and of course whenever you will draw it I'm just explaining a minimum level because it has more explanation that is required and coming up with this next video what is the structure of the covalent compounds why lone pair and bond pair acting together and why uh, the the reason of like characteristics of ionic and covalent compounds so I hope in this video I can clarify you the basic of covalent compounds and of course you will draw these figures like methane, ammonia, carbon dioxide and of course you know that carbon dioxide like this as because as because carbon is sharing two pairs like one, two, three, four four pairs of electrons even oxygen is sharing two pairs of electrons and thus this carbon dioxide molecule is forming so this is very easy which is very common and of course do let me know your requirements i'm trying my level best to upload all these classes explaining the things which is written in the book students of english versions and all level please study from your heart and of course let me know your requirements take care stay well see you in the next class